jennifernat.com. Today I'm going to show you how to make this fun ombre pom-pom. So let's get started. So the first thing that I want you to do is I want you to pick your colors and today I'm using Bernat Satin as my yarn and I'm using Snow Lagoon and Aqua as my colors. Then you need to print out your templates, glue them to a piece of cardboard and cut them out and you're going to need two of these. Cut a piece of yarn approximately 8 inches long and I want you to place it in the middle of your cardboard piece like that and then place your second cardboard piece so that it's sandwiched in between. Then what I want you to do is I want you to take your darkest color, so in my case that's aqua, and I want you to wrap it around the loom in the center here about 50 times. So to start that, I leave a little tail there, and I start wrapping. And you want to make sure that you don't catch these tails as you're doing your wrapping. Once you have 50 wraps, it should look something like this, and then you want to go ahead and clip the end of your yarn. And what I like to do is I like to just tie these two ends into a temporary knot, just to kind of hold them in place and to help stop them from unraveling as you work your other colors. Now the next thing that we want to do is we want to take our second color, so our mid color, and in this case I'm using Lagoon, and I want to wrap 30 wraps of Lagoon on this side, I want to clip it then and tie it into a knot, and I want to wrap 30 on this side, clip it and tie it into a knot as well. So when I'm finished wrapping my second color, it should look something like this, and then you want to take your third color, in this case I'm using white, it's my lightest color, and I want to wrap 25 wraps on this side and 25 wraps on this side. At the end of wrapping three colors, you should have something that looks like this, and now we're ready to take it off of our cardboard piece. We want to take those two yarn tails of the piece of yarn that runs through the middle of the pom-pom that we sandwiched in between those two cardboard pieces and tie them into a knot and you want to have it slide up towards the center there. Then what we want to do is we want to take a pair of scissors and we want to clip through all of these yarns and then tighten this up again and tie another knot. So basically slip my scissors between those two cardboard pieces and start clipping. Now remember these knots we tied, you can either undo them or leave them as is because as you clip through them you're going to see that your pom-pom is going to need a little bit of a haircut when this is all done. So we don't need to really worry about those at this point, they'll just be clipped through. So now I want to grab my yarn tails and tighten it up as tight as I can in the center there. I'm going to tie my second knot. So it's nice and tight. And then I'm ready to take my pom pom off my loom. And I'm just going to bend it a little bit and pop it out there. And that's what we have right now. So as you can see, there's some long hairs and it's a slightly misshapen. But we're going to want to give it a little bit of a haircut, and you're going to see that it's going to turn into a nice round pom pom. I want to hold these two long tails that I have to make sure I don't clip them off because these tails are handy for sewing onto your pom-pom onto your item. And I want to go ahead and give it a trim. So now what you need to do is sometimes you need to manipulate the yarn a little bit to get so that you get that striped effect of the ombre running down there. So that's all there is to it, to making this ombre pom-pom, and I'll see you again at Bernat.com.